let us take the case related to the annuity first of all that what is annuity that what is annuity over here that what is annuity over here so in case of annuity so in case of annuity you are having a constant cash flow there is a fixed cash flow fixed amount of a cash flow for the over a fixed period there is a fixed cash flow over a fixed period so we can say that if you are having the so if you are having let us say that you are receiving rupees 1000 each and every month or 1000 for each and every year for the next five years for the next five years in that case it's what it's basically an annuity it is basically an annuity so it is basically related to what a constant cash flow over a fixed period of time that is related to what that is related to annuity over here okay and further it is a pre-fixed period and there is a fixed cash flow or constant cash flow over there okay so if they if you you are receiving or paying the amount in the beginning of the period then it is said to be what it is said to be annuity due in that case it is said to be annuity due so if you are receiving the amount in the beginning of the period in that case it is said to be the annuity due and further if you are receiving or paying the amount in the end of the period in that case it is said to be ordinary annuity in that case it is said to be ordinary annuity we are already have covered these concepts under the GIB exams in uh, accounting and finance for banking so you must be aware of that so if you are receiving the regular payments over the fixed uh, tenor over there in that case it is related to annuity so if you are receiving it in the beginning of the period it is basically what it is said to be the annuity due and further if you are receiving it in the end of the period or paying it in the end of the period it is related to the ordinary annuity is that clear now if i say that if you are paying the emi it would be example related to what kind please do let me know at the earliest if you are paying emi it would be example of the annuity itself so what type of annuity it would be it would be annuity due or annuity ordinary annuity in the case of emi that is the equated monthly installments you are paying the emis to the bank now in that case it is basically what type of annuity it is annuity due or annuity ordinary annuity it's the example of the ordinary annuity over there it's the example of the ordinary annuity of the way because you are paying the amount to the bank at the end of the interval itself at the end of the interval itself okay so if i say i'm receiving rupees 1000 for five years so over here i'll say the cash flow that is c is equal to what c is equal to the cash flow c is the cash flow that is equal to rupees uh, 1000 over here and if i say that uh, uh, that the term is five years and i'm receiving it annually in that case and will be equal to what and we will be equal to five over here and will be equal to five over here and uh, kind of please do let me know uh, the c and n over here let us say the case that i have uh, i have taken a loan of amounting rupees 10 lakh from the bank I have taken advance from the bank of rupees 10 lakh and further it is to be paid in 10 years it is to be paid in 10 years and monthly installment of rupees 5000 is to be paid let i'm just uh, assuming it let us take the case that the monthly amount of rupees 15000 will be taking that 15000 rupees monthly installment is to be paid in that case what would be the c and what would be the n what would be the value of c and what would be the value of n kind of just do let me know at the earliest so in this particular case what would be the value of c and what would be the value of the n over here so kindly do answer at the earliest so if i have basically taken advance from the bank amounting rupees 10 lakh over there which is to be paid in the next 10 years in the form of monthly installment and for the we are basically paying an amount of rupees 15000 rupees each month in that case what would be the value of n and what would be the value of c so value of c that is basically related to the cash flow now over here if you are paying the amount of rupees 15000 each month so uh, 15000 would be the c value the c value would be 15000 and if we are paying it over uh, 10 years in that case n would be equal to what because monthly installments are being paid now so n will be equal to what n will be equal to 12 into 10 years that is equal to 120 so n over here will be equal to 120 is that clear so over here pineti uh, spurti has answered correctly at the earliest related to this particular question so this is related to c would be equal to 15000 and n is equal to 120 over here and let us take the case that the interest rate of 12 percent was applicable if the interest rate of 12 percent was applicable what would be the monthly interest rate if the interest rate of 12 percent is applicable what would be the monthly interest rate in the same example where i have taken an advance of rupees 10 lakh and it is to be paid in our 10 long years in 10 years monthly installments is paid let us say the case that the ROI is 12%, the monthly installment would be equal to 
12 divided by 12 percent that is equal to 1 percent itself is that clear so now you are aware related to the concept of the annuity and further related to what is ordinary annuity and what is related to the annuity due over there now let me draw the ordinary annuity and annuity due over there so, it's, so as to look at the annuity is graphically so as to look at the uh, annuity is graphically that what is the difference between the annuity and the annuity due okay so over here i am first of all drawing it related to ordinary annuity so first of all we are going to cover related to ordinary annuity over there where the amount is to be paid or received in the end of the period itself is that clear now in this case particularly in this case particularly if we say it is starting from zero that it is showing the present present uh, time itself so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so i'm just drawing it for the five years and let us take the case that uh, we are receiving rupees 1000 for each year we are receiving rupees 1000 for each year what does it indicate it indicates c is equal to uh, rupees of 1000 over here and for the n is given to be 5 over here 5 over here and the frequency is 5 that is related to that we are receiving the amount 5 years and further we are receiving it for annually okay now in this particular case as we are receiving the amount at the end of the tenor itself so it will be the value will be received over here so 1k over here and for the so on the value will be received as such okay now if the interest rate is applicable on this uh, particular amount over there let us take the case if i am investing rupees 1000 at the end of the period itself if i am investing the amount at the end of the period itself at the end of the term itself uh, in that case if i am investing rupees 1000 at the end of one year in that case there will be no interest for this particular time period for this particular period for first year there will be no interest that is to be paid and the interest will be paid for the this this term this term this one and this one term so in for how many terms for one two three and four terms the interest will be paid and if we compare the same situation over here in the case of the annuity due where the amount is being paid or being received at the uh, in the beginning of the period itself in that case if we draw the same timeline over here where it says 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay in this case particularly the amount will be invested here itself it will be invested here itself and and further it will be invested here 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 1 4 and 5 over here is that clear in the beginning of the period itself the amount is invested now this amount will be receiving the interest for this particular period 1 2 3 4 and 5 itself so in the case of the ordinary annuity the interest was over there for four terms whereas in the case of the annuity due the interest was there for five terms we are taking the case where we are depositing the amount where we are depositing the amount is that clear is that clear so that is related to what that is a graphical difference between the ordinary annuity and the annuity due. you must understand that now let us understand the concept related to the present value and the future value let us understand the concept related to the present value and the future value first of all we'll be considering the concept related to present value now the present value what it is what it does it indicate i already told you that the money tomorrow or money in future is not equal to the money in our hand right now and we can discount it and the, the rate at which it is discounted is said to be what it is said to be the discounting rate itself okay so the same case is over here i'm receiving it for three years let us say the case i'm receiving rupees 1k for three years i'm not basically saying whether it is related to annuity due or uh, ordinary annuity i'm simply saying that i'm investing rupees 1000 for three years over here so this is basically related to the present value over here and this is the first year second year and third year now if you want to get the present value of the annuity now if you want to get the present value of the annuity we'll be calculating the present value of all the cash inflows we'll be calculating the present value of all the cash inflows over there so that will be basically related to what that is related to the present value of the annuity so that will be related to that what is the worth of that particular cash flows that i am going to receive in the annuity itself that is related to present value of the annuity okay and when i say what will be the future value of the annuity let it let me give an example let, that uh, you are basically depositing an amount of rupees 1000 each year uh, so each month for two years okay so you're basically having a recurring deposit with you and you're depositing rupees 1000 for each month for next two years in that case you're basically wondering that what amount you will be receiving what would be the maturity that will be receiving at the end of the two years itself that is basically related to what that is related to the future value so the future value is appreciated because that is invested on some interest and further the present value is discounted on some interest rate. the present value is discounted on the interest rate so that is basically the present value and the future value we have already learned the concept related to it okay so now let me tell you the formulas related to uh, the different formulas for the honor annuity and the annuity due first of all 
So you need to remember only and only one formula and further from these form from one formula itself you can form the other formulas too. So you need to remember one formula only and you must and you can remember four other formulas from the same. Okay. So first of all we are considering it related to the present value of the ordinary annuity. Present value of the uh, or we can say the future value of the ordinary annuity. The future value of the ordinary annuity. So what is the formula related to it? So it is equal to the C that is a cash flow. And for the 1 plus i raised to power n minus 1 divided by i. So that is the formula related to the future value of the ordinary annuity. That is related to the future value of the ordinary annuity. I am representing interest over here by, uh, by term i over here. What does it indicate? It in indicates that interest will be paid. Okay. And further the present value of the ordinary annuity. The formula is quite same. That is the same. That is c. And for instead of i, I will be using the term r over here. Otherwise, in formula it is all same. Okay, that is for reference only because R over here is a discount rate where I over here is an interest rate that is being paid to you and R is a discount rate at which you will be discounting the future cash flow to the present value itself. Okay, and further it will be R and only one different uh, and one extra term is over there in the de uh, denominator itself that is 1 plus R raised to power N and that would be related to present value of ordinary entity. This is quite simple now so as to uh, remember the formulas over here you just need to remember this particular formula. You just need to remember this particular formula and from this particular formula you can form the other formula itself okay so this one was related to future value of ordinary annuity and this is equal to cash flow and further multiplied by 1 plus i raised to power n minus 1 divided by i itself and further for the present value of ordinary annuity the same formula would be there only one th this term itself in the denominator that we added up over here that is 1 plus r raised to power n that would be the term that would be added over here that is related to the present value of the ordinary annuity in this case okay Further related to the future value of NVDD, future value of NVDD. Now I just told you that in case of future value of NVDD, that was basically deposited over there for the one extra period, for one extra term over there. That is the thing that you need to remember. So replicated from the same formula itself, uh, you'll be writing it same. That is C and for the one plus i raised to power n minus one divided by i itself, and you'll be just multiplying it with one plus i. That is for the one extra term. You can memorize it in that manner. So it will be multiplied by 1 plus i that is the formula related to future value of the annuity due. That is related to future value of annuity due and further if you need to want uh, if you want to remember the formula related to present value of annuity due, uh, annuity due that is equal to what? That is equal to the same formula goes over here that is c 1 plus r because there will be a discount rate raised to power n minus 1 divided by r and further because this is for what this is for the annuity due itself so there is a one another term so we'll be writing one plus i r over here again and further in the denominator itself it will be the extra term that we added in the present value formula that is one plus r raised to power n this is how you can memorize all these formulas over here i told you that remembering one formula and you can retain five formulas which one is that fifth formula let us have a look at it that is related to emi that is related to emi any lame guesses that what formula would be related to the EMI itself? Any lame guesses because I just you just uh, answered me one question related to when I asked that uh, this is related to the present value and uh, further I, you just told me that uh, EMI that uh, is related to this particular formula. Can anybody have a idea related to EMI would be related to the first formula or the second over third over fourth? If not any, there is not an issue. Let me tell you clearly that present value ordinary annuity formula is basically the formula from where we can uh, also calculate the emi itself from where we can also calculate the emi itself okay so this is a formula related to emi over here c is the emi that you want to calculate present value of the ordinary annuity is basically related to what that is related to the that is related to the loan amount so whatever amount that is sanctioned that is basically the loan amount now that is sanctioned the loan amount so uh, just take it as that manner let us say the case that amount of rupees 10 lakh has been sanctioned to a person at a 10 percent rate at 10 percent rate and further this is for sanction for a period of five years this is sanctioned for a period of five years now in this particular case the present 10 lakh rupees is basically related to what this is the present value of the loan amount so sanction this is the present value of the loan amount so sanction and for the emi of the amount is to be paid Okay, that is basically the present value of the ordinary annuity formula is related to the EMI from where we can do calculate the EMI and I'll be telling you that how you can do calculate the different annuities over there and for the what the thinking process related to it. Is that clear? 
is that particular part clear over here so that is related to what that is related to annuity annuities are of two types ordinary annuity and annuity due and further we covered the present value and future values of these different annuities over there now we will be solving the questions related to that okay so over here we are having some of the questions and then we'll be learning the concepts related to the sinking uh, funds over there the annuities growing annuities perpetuity console modes each and everything that we'll be covering